Hi, Ni Hao. I'm Chef Tom. We're gonna cook chicken curry rice noodle soup. First, I did not throw away my cilantro stem. I think this is beautiful to cook soup, slow cook, give them flavor. And my wife got this tomatoes, home grow, so I can use special two pieces of tomato, just chop into like three little pieces. I have some broccoli that left over a couple days ago. I'm just gonna trim the forest out and this is gonna go into the soup, get them really good flavor and healthy. And then the stump, I'm just gonna get them a really nice roughly chop, right? It's a little crunchy. Good food is about good texture. Put on the side. And this is the hot chili. So we're gonna give them a few pieces of hot chili. And I got some leftover fried rice ingredient from last time, right? Gonna use it. Mushroom, we have some cooked chicken, but not much left. And uh, bamboo shoe, piece and carrot. I mean, I think this is really good. Go with the curry soup, some onion. Gonna cut it up. Section of the onion, so we're gonna dice it and we want to extract out the onion flavor for curry. That will give the soup really nice flavor. Okay, and here I got one almost half piece of the chicken breast. I cut the vegetable here and cut the meat here, but I'm gonna cook all together and then wash your knife and the cutting board really good. So I want just um, the similar chicken, the sliced chicken that we have from cooked chicken. So what I can do is I can do many different ways. You can lay the chicken first, pieces by pieces, okay? And then get them a quick chop, put on the side here, separate them. If sometimes the chicken is too thick, use your knife. Right? And now I can go this way. I think that's good enough. So, if I have. So we want the thickness about the same. Put it right here. Okay. We are ready to cook. A Dutch oven. Nicely heated. Little oil in. And we're gonna add some uh, ginger. A lot of ginger. For curry, ginger and garlic is really good to start the base ingredient. Lemongrass will be good. A quick stir. And then we're gonna add the onion in, right? Onion is the beginning stage to cook. Cilantro, even the tomatoes. Tomato actually is not bad to start. Because tomato got flavor, juice. Give them a quick stir. All right, now we're gonna put the chicken in. Why? Because my pot and pan, my Dutch oven, the oil is hot. So I put it in. Separate them. It's gonna be so delicious. Two seconds to cook. I have all my ingredients here. I got the uh, turmeric juice, the real rich Thai coconut milk, and I have this uh, blended of yellow curry, masala curry, and turmeric together. I got it from the Eastern Market. Ah, oh, smells so delicious already. Unbelievable. Okay, and now I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredient in.
Mm, ah, be careful. Well, guys, this is a Dutch oven. They circulate the heat. All the oven have the same similar heat. That's why they're so expensive. They are good to uh, making uh, stew, kanji, rice stew. Okay, and then I call this one cup. Actually, it's more than a cup. It's my coffee cup. Put them a stir. Pretty simple, right? One pot meal is really good to cook. I would say probably like beginning to the end, one hour. Okay, we're not gonna be super picky about, you know, let the rice cook through. We're not making risotto, okay? This is the short grain grain rice, I'm sorry, short grain, short grain rice. I got sake, little wine, cooking wine or sake. Give a quick stir. Stir the bottom, don't let them get burn or stuck at the bottom. Okay, I think this is good. Now, we're gonna add some water or stock. So one cup of rice, you need one and a half cup water to cook, right? For making rice soup, I'm gonna double or triple. Do we counting? I'm not. We can always add water later. Well, I think that's good to start, okay? That's very good to start. Here we go. I'm gonna add my uh, all the ingredients later, okay? I don't need to add it now. But if you wanna add curry powder, everything else is okay too. But uh, this is gonna be a slow cook. I'm gonna wait. See, make sure before you close the lid, you wanna stir, you use your spatula, get down to the bottom. Use a wood one, nice, you know, heavy wood, look. There we go. Look at that. We already start out a base. Having add any ingredient yet, just the basic base. Okay, now I'm gonna close it. Turn the heat to medium low, which I did, and let the rice soup bring up to a simmer. Okay. Seven, eight minutes or ten minutes. This is done. I mean to start for the beginning. Simmer. That's why I call simmer. And now we're just gonna go inside and stir pot the rice soup. Make sure nothing. I feel like there's uh, many pieces at the bottom because of dry rice. Like kind of like a stock underneath the Dutch oven. So I'm just gonna scrape it out like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're gonna add some. Turmeric paste. It's got a little sour plum flavor to it. That's good. Balance out. And then the yellow curry powder with the turmeric. One, two, three. That's equal probably four to five tablespoons. Eyeball it. Mm -hmm. Stir. Stir evenly. See that? Ooh, the curry smells so good. Yes. This is a great recipe for fall, winter. It's great for summer too, but just hot. Oh yeah, look at that. Hmm? I'm gonna add one more. I like rich. So you can add a lot to curry, masala, those are, those are good spices. Okay, I got this. One can of coconut milk. I would say this here about, um, I got one, I would say like a one and a half cup of the rice. 
and then uh, multiply that by four times, maybe six cups, seven cups of water. It really doesn't matter, you see, right? It looks good. With the more little less, it's okay. But the most important, I'm gonna teach you how to cook. And we have some half and half or heavy cream. Look at that. Hmm? It's beautiful. Think about anything else, you can add it in. Okay. If you want to balance the flavor, I suggest you add some uh, uh, sugar to balance the flavor. But I'm just going to do it without the sugar today. A little salt. This is the important part. Don't add too much salt. Because we're going to slow cook. Heat constantly. Reduce a little bit. Dutch oven, they're not going to reduce much. So, which is good. We want to have all the flavor. Nice, rich, concentrate flavor with all the vegetable, everything else, slowly cook. Huh? All right, now, you gotta be careful. I cook with the Dutch oven, you know? If you walk away, you gotta be careful because they can, they can uh, increase the heat very fast. So by doing that, I'm gonna turn my stove, my beautiful stove, to very low simmer. I got Cooper, Bailey, Tucker, one of my uh, puppy dogs have a brother and um, they come visit. Is that cool? Oh, here's Tucker. Tucker, can you say hi? And where's your brother? Our guest. Right here. So cute. That's my big son. Sorry, daddy's cooking, forgot to let you in. Okay, we're gonna uh, give them a quick check. Hey guys, settle down. All right, here we go. Ah, the house smells amazing. Look, it's slowly cooked. Occasionally, you gotta come. We don't want the rice, especially if this is the sticky rice. We don't want them to stuck underneath the bottom of the uh, Dutch oven. So, we're gonna give them a quick stir, like this. Okay, I think this is some kind of the consistency there, like kanji. Here we go. That's a good. The heat was great. You can add potatoes, yam, anything with the uh, starchy family, vegetable, those are good for you. Slow cook. Carrot, huh? So, cover up. Alright. Every uh, five, five to ten minutes, I come in chat. Alright. This is the third time I try to check. I walk away every five minutes. Ah, it's getting thicker. Yes, I think it's done, the rice. Look, only like 15, 20 minutes. So here I got maybe two to three cup mixed vegetable. Six to seven cup of the water. And about one and a half cup rice, see? You can do a thicker or lighter. Doesn't doesn't matter. Five minutes you can do lots of things at home. Vacuum, which I just did. Organize the house a little bit before the kids come back home. Ah, oh, it's delicious. You know what? It's done. It's only like less than 20 minutes. See, it's pretty good. Very consistency, very soft. And this is the lowest heat I can get. Alright, let me get a spoon. Wow, smells so amazing. All right, we have all the spices in. Give them a try. Wow, delicious. The only thing we need is some sugar cane or brown sugar to balance, but I've been eating lots of sweet lately, so I'm gonna take it easy, okay? So good. All right, we're gonna keep stir. I think it's perfect. It's ready to eat. If you like to get this uh, rice noodle really fine, you can use the, what I call, immersion blender. Blend everything in, the vegetables already cooked down. Really good. Well, I hope you like the video. I'm Chef Tom. Thank you for watching. I see you next time. Bye.
Ah, uh, so good. And so healthy too.